Be sure to watch this video all the way through. Don't know why you wouldn't, but somewhere amongst this video, there is an extra special deal just for you. So follow along. Okay, Anchor Girl is smiling because we're back on board Boogaboo with the new top. I love it. And to see her smiling like that is a rarity. And this yes, guy is yes. to blame. <laughs> Craig, you've done a very awesome job. So you. you were just going to point out a couple of the neat little features that you are now incorporating in a lot of your so tops. So a couple of the things we changed on yours, and if you remember when you came in, you had a full zipper across the top, but then you had this eight or 10 inch little kind of right. end on both sides, which caused a leak for you. Yeah, because where the two pieces came together, it was getting in behind and dripping down there. So what we've gone and done is we've carried your roof down a little bit and then tiered it up, but that enabled us to carry your zipper back. So now you've got five inches so the water's, you know, you're going to have to be in one heck of a storm for the water to yeah. work its way back yeah. up and create a leak in. And then we just kept this tight around the corner to alleviate any drips inside or to yeah. help alleviate any drips. And then we did the same thing at the front. Yeah. And again, you can probably tell in the video there, it just tears down a little bit more. So you've got kind of two inches, two and a half inches here to keep the water on the outside. It's, uh, Probably one of the biggest complaints we get from boaters is when they come in, they want the water to stop coming oh, in yeah. in the rain. Yeah, for so, sure. So, uh, you know, it's the same well, as we put the rubber gasket all the way around yeah. the front, and we flapped your front windows. So there's a Velcro flap on the outside that comes out two inches. It actually comes to the edge of your your heads here on either side. Yeah. So again, if you're in a driving rain, uh, the likelihood of water coming in, you know, is reduced drastically. Um, and then in yours, we've changed some of the lines, uh, the lines on your zipper coming down here. And we tried to get it to the point where it's aesthetically looking like it's part of. Right. You don't have like it's supposed to be there, yeah. not an afterthought. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the same thing at the back. Try to make it a little bit more user friendly, uh, where your doors over here will roll up and they're more square so you don't get the torpedo effect coming out. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, in your old boat, this was all one zipper. You know, it's hard for Anchor Girl with a little shorter arms than you and I to get everything done up. So this is easy and the likelihood of you taking this panel out, you'll probably leave it in all the time now. And yeah, sure. There's That's no our reason idea, really yes. to take it out. Right. And it's just one less panel to have to take or put back on if the right. weather turns on you. Uh, we did uh, all your zippers we did, we call them frowns, so they roll down. So like on this one here, you can, it's like a, a car window idea. Yeah, if roll you down. If it down a little bit, you know, if you're on the boat in May and it's cool at night, you can just crack it to let the heat out. Yeah. But with the roll up windows, it's all or nothing. Yeah, right. you know, exactly. There's no in yeah. between. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's, and, that's and not only perfect. that, beyond that, you overlap this zipper area so that where it's zippered here, it, that's not going to be right straight to the outside elements. If it's raining again, this is going to allow uh, the water to mostly run off and away from the top, right? I love it. And then for you, you got some straps. Uh, when you roll the window down all the way, there's a strap to, to hold it. Uh, and then if you want to roll the whole panel up, we have straps and just, you know, just little things. We strap them here. so. You see a lot of boats, and particularly the they're clear straps, dangling. they're hanging. Yeah. And what happens over time is when you're running, this is rolling, and you get little smiles in your glass from it scratching over yeah. time. You know, just a small little thing, but you know, it's the little things that make uh, make, make a big the difference. difference and it's the little things that make Anchor Girl happy. Yes. Yep. And it makes me happy because I don't so. have to hear <laughs> about it. And this, <laughs> I like this idea of the screen. Yep, so up oh, front here, middle? and I know you, uh, you you know this from past boats, this panel zips out, and then this panel would zip into its place, put the domes at the bottom, and it just goes right in and it follows the existing zippers, and now you've got a screen, screen. in the front so it keeps the boat, or the boats, the bugs out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a little and bit then, of air uh, coming through. And you know, we did a little cover for you here, just so it matches the top for your motor, for your uh, power window. Yeah, it's, it's like a whole carpets. different boat. Yes, the carpet much. The carpet uh, is beautiful. Much better than the painted back carpet that we got rid of. <laughs> well, what was wrong with that? It only took an hour and a half a gallon of uh, lacquer thinners to get the old yeah. backing off of the uh, fiberglass. So we cleaned the lines on the carpet. 
uh, you know, where the table was cut and the feet on the back, we just tried to make them a little more uh, user friendly, uh, symmetrical. Yeah. And then the added, uh, which uh, we're probably one of the few uh, you'll see on all of your domes, and maybe you can do a real close up on that. We got our name on there. We're getting, uh, we're getting fancy. Cool. On your domes? Yeah. yeah. All the domes, even on the cool. carpet ones. Look at that. Just Canadian yacht tops. tops. Yeah. But this this one's orientated slightly different <laughs> to that one. Well, we can spin them all for you. They were all right before you got on the boat. <laughs> yeah. And as, as long as these guys come back nice. happily, that's a good thing. Because I hate fighting with those rigging things. No, they should, uh, you know, as the heat gets it, it'll shrink, it'll expand. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the cold weather on the glass uh, makes it a little tighter. So you can see that uh, you know, we're trying to take that into account while we're doing it. Yeah, them. and I like this uh, lip all the way around, like yeah. on the outside. Again, just trying to keep the as water much water out, out as we can. Yeah. And, uh, like the flap you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we call it a valance. But, uh, and then if you look at it there, you'll see that there's Velcro there. So yeah. You pull that down, it keeps it down at the joints in the door. So we are inside the shop, which is brilliant because it's the shop is actually part of the marina. It's, it's a wet slip, so you can just bring the boats right in here and have them out of the weather to do the work. And have shore power as well. Yeah, we have shore power for people coming in. We can fit a, a 50 foot long boat. Wow. Uh, our biggest issue this time of year is the water level being so, so high, high that uh, fly bridges with radar on it poses a problem. And that's where we use the outside slip where your boat is right now. Yeah. But you can see where Anchor Girl is uh, just behind her. There's one of our sewing machines with a table and then a cutting table. and. Which is so convenient because you can back and forth to the boat to do your fine tuning, right? Absolutely, and it doesn't matter for us. Unlike a lot of our competitors who are working outside, it can rain, it can snow, it can do anything outside where we drop the door and we're in our own little cocoon here. And, and that's uh, one of the things that enables us to get a boat in and out so quick. Yeah. Remember, your boat came in on Tuesday of a short week here, and here we are Saturday, Saturday. Uh, quarter after one. and. You're ready to roll. You shouldn't let that get out because everybody's going to expect that kind of service as well. <laughs> well, you know, that's, uh, uh, that's kind of our normal concierge service. That's here. part of the Canadian Yacht Tops experience. That is the Canadian Yacht Tops way. You know, you know, we, I have a boat. I want to be out on my boat most weekends. You know, mm -hmm. this weekend the weather's not that great, so I don't mind being here Saturday and Sunday. But uh, come July when it's 90 degrees outside, I'm going to be enjoying my boat. Yeah, and you understand why the quick turnaround is so important yeah. to yeah, us we only, boaters. Uh, we only get 10 or 12 good weekends if we're lucky. Uh, so to tie up somebody's boat for three weeks just doesn't make any sense to yeah. me. Yeah. You know, there's no reason for it. And again, as I was telling you, we've had experience in the past, and that's another reason, the quick turnaround, as well as the, you know, the service and the finished product, which is the paramount consideration, but the fast turnaround as well. So I'm glad you were able to fit us in. Yeah, I know. I'm glad it worked out and uh, the dates coincided with what we could do. But, you know, for you, we talked about this at the Toronto Boat Show. Well, we talked about this last fall, if you remember. I called you the week after I sold the last boat yes. to talk about a potential yep. of us getting in, right? So. But that's, the, you know, our, our biggest thing is we book ahead. You know, we want to get boats booked in. and So let that be a hint. you got to call the guy like six months ahead of time. Absolutely. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, you should call six months ahead of time just to get a heads up yep. and a feel for what your schedule is going to be like for the following season, right? Absolutely. Which is what we did because when we sold the last boat, we expected that any boat that we would have to buy as a replacement because we were looking at those Sundancers already back in September of last year, we anticipated that we would have to get a top Purdue. So given Craig's great reputation, he was the first one that I called and we talked about when it could be done and how quickly that the boats could get in here and obviously it, a lot of it came down to the to the weather. And ultimately it was the weather that determined us getting boat here because we were stuck in on the Rideau Canal with that boat for a few weeks. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Oh you're more than welcome. Yeah. So it all worked out to the better. Another happy customer. Yeah. Thank you. Great.
Well, and keep in mind, I know we've already talked about this, your first couple of rainfalls, it will leak throughout sure. the seams. Yeah. But that just, it's the wicking process. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just needs to get water, and it really needs to get environmental dirt just to plug up all those little holes. Yeah. Get some pollen in there, and it just uh, seals everything up. And the, all the stitching, we use SunGuard thread. So the stitching will, once it gets wet, it'll, it'll wick, and it'll expand a little bit, and then just fill all those little holes. Because if you think... Everywhere we've stitched, you know, we've there's a hole. There's a holes in yeah. it. That's right. So it's, uh, yeah. you know, and then we waterproofed it. I know I, I sent you a picture of it on the dock yeah. Uh, yeah. when we waterproofed it. Uh, so so what that you, you should do yeah, every other year, maybe, depending on uh, how much sun we get. Right. If it's a real hot summer, which this year we haven't really had much sun at all, no. uh, it'll dry it out. So it conditions it, and that's probably one of the biggest things most people aren't doing properly okay. is continuing to waterproof their tops. What would you recommend for a waterproof? We recommend watersheds. Um, there's also 303, which is a very good product. Uh, uh, you know, those are the two we like to use. But they're silicone based, right? Silicone -based. As opposed to Teflon based. Yes. Right. Yes. So just Canadian Tire silicone, which I've been using yep. for yeah, years yeah, over the last well. couple of boats, right? Because you yeah. buy in a gallon can, then I get those. Um, garden sprayers yep That's and spray it on exactly what we have but this yeah. is going to be a lot easier to take this off and do it off the boat as well yeah. yep. okay so again thanks craig really appreciate thank you the fast service the good service and the fact that you have left my wife with a smile on her face happy wife is a happy life that's it okay all right look for the links in the description to canadian yacht tops website and hopefully coming up really soon, a brand new Facebook page. Yes, it's in the works because Good. of you. Because of me. Power of social media, folks. So give get a Greg a call, email, or like him on Facebook. That's it for now. Cheers. So what's the special offer that I was talking about earlier? Well, right now, for the month of June, remember we're in June 2017 when this is being filmed. Craig from Canadian Yacht Tops is going to offer an extra special deal if you book a new top in the month of June. And this is all in celebration of us hitting 5,000 subscribers here on the channel. So it's with your help that we've been able to achieve this. So Craig just wants to celebrate along with the rest of us. And what he's going to do is if you order, book a new top for your boat now within the month of June, he's going to give you $250 off. That's a pretty special deal if you ask me. And if nobody's listening, what I would suggest is go in there, get your best deal from Craig, and then tell him you saw this video, tell him you follow Boogaboo, and it's as simple as that. You'll get another $250 off. I think it's a, it's a no-brainer. So give Craig a call. The link to his website is going to be down in the description, as well as phone number and all his contact information. And again, all you have to do is mention that you've seen this video, that you watched this video, and that you follow Boogaboo. And it's as simple as that. Get in touch with Craig and he'll fill you in with all the fantastic details. And in the meantime, I think I hear Anchor Girl getting me a beer. So I got to get back to the video. So here I am, back safe and sound. And it's getting bloody hot. It's a full on summer day. And I am so thirsty. If only, if only. <laughs> Here. Cheers. Cheers. Happy new canvas and carpet, honey. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. That's all I needed to hear. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Daily updates there and always lively conversation on Facebook so you don't want to miss it. And you can also follow us at BoatsBeachesAndBars.com where you're going to find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store. And you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here, down there, in the description. So you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.